that's it. Now, how do I, um, this harkens back to my football days, um, to just see exactly what I'm spending time on. So my intention with this session in particular that I literally again just said is, was, <clears throat> was to, um, do the same transition. I think I got distracted for a little bit. Oh no, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna fast forward this. This is like very meta to view my channel and my channel. <laughs> okay. Like I'm just reading. Okay. reference in the input event. Okay. <laughs> Pretty good focus session, honestly. Do this, but I, probably, I, I don't want to do it just because I don't understand why it's responding this way. Oh, that's right. Hold on, I say that. What if I just print? Uh, Maybe I could just have it actually emit the signal, signal rather than utilizing mm. it internally in like a signal event or anything like that. Just Emit a signal, connect the signal, and then... <laughs> 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 it was like I was commenting to myself. <laughs> so that doesn't happen. Alright. Um, Alright. So, I think a pretty good focus session. I think I did a fairly good job. While I, you know, I would have liked to solve the problem in the time, but I, one of the things I do often, and I think this is something that we can all learn from, is I will often, too often, uh, start clicking, clacking, and, and, and doing things before I should. And that goes ag ag directly against, honestly, the best programming talk that I ever received, short of the um, immensely valuable standard, uh, not standard, uh, St Stanford, uh, or is it Stanford? I don't know. Uh, CS50, CS50, Harvard. <laughs> I forgot the name of the university, but uh, the Harvard sessions are great. Um, um, in particular, with David, what's his name? This guy. Uh, those are all fantastic. So heavily recommend his lectures. But uh, his his lectures were immensely valuable. I should probably go through more of those. But one thing that really made a difference in my programming journey was uh, think like a programmer. Um, there's one particular. Here it is. This is the, honestly, I think the best talk on programming. It's something I, I should probably even revisit. Uh, I even subscribed to the teacher's super small YouTube channel because it was perfectly put. And in it, it talks about how, you know, you, you need to, rather than... Um, Rather than uh, clicking and clacking and, and writing code immediately, you should create a plan, create a, a document before you start clicking and clacking. You should have an understanding of where you're going. So a lot of the time I just have an idea in my head and I just want to go and like that's stupid. Like you're, I'm just not that good yet, right? Like similar to Jiu Jitsu or uh, an, an, another physical practice, you need to get the basic fundamental moves before you can get into anything fancy. Because if you try to get into something fancy before you have nailed the fundamentals, that's when you fuck yourself up. That like that, <laughs> that's when you get hurt. That's when um, you know you're you're focusing on a submission versus position. You know those type of things. So um, so yeah. So great talk. I heavily recommend it. Um, but I am going to transition into um, a different thing, which is actually I'm going to save this. Um, a game uh, that is very similar to what a game I wanted to create. So we're going to play it um, for a little bit and just analyze it and have fun with it um, and support it. And maybe we'll have some 
useful bits of feedback to offer to developers. So I'm going to get my notebook out as well so I can jot down notes as we go throughout it. Um, that's the kicker is like if you're, if you're analyzing something, it's also hard, especially in the realm of fun, to um, continue to have fun with it. <laughs> um, not like nitpick it to hell apart. Like I, once I start up the game, I'm instantly going to focus on the, the, what what is the opening sequence like is it a cutscene like what's the music is it like how do you start this game so that that's of course going to be a big thing for me so um, i'm just going to write that down for myself right now and the date and the name of the game tales of ken zara Zhao? Zhu? I'm not sure. Zhu? Let's see. Yes. Okay. So that's if it's running. Alright, there we go. There you are. Get out of here. Wow. EA Originals. For real. Went for Unreal. Um, uh, what was it called? How, how it reflects in, uh, like, immediately with, um, oh my god, bro. I can't think of the, the word. Uh, Black Panther. Accessibility options up front and this beautiful royal purple. I love that. Um, and accessibility, very important feature in any game. Uh, now and forever. But, you know, in particular, as we, we start to see it more and more with games nowadays, because um, A, the social awareness of it, and B, there's also actually some real... Um, you know, there's a w awards also associated with it. Aside from people being different and being able to play your game, which is amazing to just open it up. It's similar to like localization where you just, or you're allowing more people, more diverse people <coughs> that maybe wouldn't be your typical audience to play your game, enjoy your game and experience your game. So love the accessibility options are up front. Um, progressive text, uh, progress text automatically. Uh, you know, keep, I'll, I'll, I'll keep all the defaults on um, just to see what that feels like. Um, but all like motion blur, screen shake, camera sway, that's for people of different sensitivities. This seems like just a general preference thing, but I'm going to keep it at point one. Uh, and then text progression, that seems pretty um, um, self explanatory. It's also here. I don't like how these buttons are positioned, like just a little thing of it. Like that. Anyway. I'm gonna keep that as is. Oh Jesus. Endurance. No, no, that's the second time that word has been resonating. Every story begins at the end of another. I love a black screen with text that appears. I do. Ever since Kingdom Hearts, this has been my shit. <laughs> like, like that set of mystery and intrigue. Oh, the shaman's path is one of healing. One of guiding. Yet, how does a shaman perform his duties when he is the one in need of healing? Of guiding? 
Baba. Help me, Baba. I need you, Baba. Kalunga, God of Death, hear my plea. Kalunga, God of Death, come to me. Kalunga, God of Death, guardian of the veil between the realm of the living and the dead. My name is Zhao, Shaman of Amandla. And why, Zhao, Shaman of Amandla, have you called me to the realm of the living? It is told that there are three great spirits who have denied you. And if a shaman can cross your veil, having shepherded these spirits with death in tow... Great favor by death, true wealth bestowed, I know the tale. And tell me, Kijana, what wealth is it that you seek? My Baba, a sickness plagued him. You have taken his soul, and I am here to reclaim it back. I seek my Baba's return in exchange for these spirits. But those who fail, Kalunga's grace shall know. I know what is at stake. But do you truly? All I see before me is a boy. A desperate boy with a desperate plea. I am a shaman, my father's son, wielding his masks, knowing his ways. I can do this, Kalunga. I know I can. Hmm. Words carry little weight against the strength of action. But you have spirit. This much is true. We go east. Perhaps there you may prove to me you are worthy of such a task. I will show you my worthiness. Show you the grace of the moon. these statues with anguish in Ganga. What ails you? When I was young, my Baba would bring me here, to Patakatifu. We would admire these statues with fear, awe. My Baba would tell me the tales, great tales, wondrous tales of the great spirits of this land. And every time we passed through these crossroads, I would look at them and wonder if I would ever be so lucky to be graced with their presence. Now you look at them and are reminded of the reality and challenge that befalls you. This daunting task of facing the great spirits. No. I am reminded of my Baba. I'm not saying exactly, but it, it reminds me similar, like the, the dialogue system, I guess, if you will, that they have here. And even the different... You look at these statues uh, with anguish, Nganga. Uh, what ails you? Or the when I was young... Do. My Baba would bring me here, piece. to Patakatifu. You know, he, has this he would admire these statues novel, with S, fear. Uh, oh, you see the characters. Like my Baba would tell me the tales, um, great tales, wondrous tales of the great figure, spirits like, of this land. The, the of, like, the and every here, time we pass um, through these crossroads, like, uh, like I would look at them um, and one. Now you look at them the and are reminded of the reality and challenge that befalls you. This daunting task of... No.
Uh, one thing, uh, I'll write this down as well, is that I feel like the for the uh, movement, movement, uh, the arrows n are not configured. So I feel like that should be configured. Uh, my QA hat on, if you will. Um, like, pressing the arrow keys pretty common. Uh, WASD, uh, also very common. Uh, that is it. mask i use the mask to channel my power it is the mask of the moon baba taught me the ways graceful is the flow a harmony soaked in virtuous intent we should keep moving your proficiency intrigues me but yet it does not make you immortal kijana you are injured you must heal i am fine a gazelle that limps will struggle to outrun the lion <laughs> maybe you are right Fine. I will heal. Yes, 
I have seen many spirits, but never so unsettled. You now walk with the presence of death by your side, and these spirits linger here, not ready to let go. You do them a service by performing your duties and giving them peace, Nganga. No matter, there must be a key nearby. I will show you the strength of the sun. of the sun. Baba showed me that to wield it is to harness a most ferocious love. The fiery flames of noble intentions. Hmm. Your Baba taught you well. Not just a boy now, eh? Only time will tell. The sun. The moon. I must embrace the dance.
move while I was just not <laughs> doing it. property that resides in everyone and everything. Through your resonance as a shaman, it can accentuate your inner power. When the time is right, use this energy. Adapt it to your will. Through Ulaji Zhao, you can become stronger and faster than ever.
of fury, shaman. The mask of the sun and the moon. Baba would say the sun and moon never oppose one another. They labor for the same purpose. Never hold one over the other. It is a balance. Kamauhai Nakifo. Finally, now to the gate. A floating Rio tidal. Do you feel that too? That's energy. I do. It is not a sense of apprehension or fear, only inspiration. It is coming. I want to go closer, but I am not sure. Approach it, Zhao. Awaken its energy. stood before a being he was familiar with, yet a stranger to.
Zhao. I have seen enough. I will journey with you, shaman. This is the road to Ikakaramba, home to the great spirit of the sky. The sooner I bring you the great spirit, the sooner you return my Baba to me, yes? This will not be easy, shaman. Those before you have tried and failed. Then I will not. Come, we're making little progress standing around. Get to Ikakaramba, get to the great spirit. together in a harmony fueled by the balance. a little thing voice. Give her a moment. Let her finish her melody. I cannot wait. Hey, move, please. Huh? I said move. Ah! So, wait. Another obstacle, another obstruction. The gates, the spirits, the girl, now this stupid bridge. Hmm, I was not expecting that. What? A shaman to be bested by a bridge. It did not best me. It did. You are careless. Since we began, you have been so focused on reclaiming what you feel is yours that you disregard yourself, others, the very journey itself. What? That is not true. I am doing this for my Baba. Recklessly charging with abandon, scaring a little girl, endangering her life and yours? You do this for your Baba? Yeah, no. You wish to walk this path? Do it with respect. <sighs> that girl up by the bridge. She was calling to something in the sky. She may know of the great spirit we are seeking. Perhaps. But first, we must find a way to the surface. Okay. 
I know this symbol. Greatness. Greatness. Fools chase it, yet heroes are found by it. What is such a symbol doing here? I once saw my Baba paint the same symbol. It must be a way of the shaman, a challenge of some sort. Not every challenge needs a challenger. Let us continue our journey. We have much to do. No, no, you do not understand. Beyond there is a power. I can feel it. One, all I have to do is get through it. Prove my worthiness as a... Hmm. The choice has always is yours. If you believe... I don't know if I can save, but this is good. I'm, I'm a little tired, so I'm gonna call it. <laughs>